Hello YouTube, this is Delta0125 doing a review on the Echo One E90, also known as a P90. It comes with a black flash hider, as well as the original orange flash hider. The black flash hider was located in this exact same spot. It comes with an orange tipped cleaning and unjamming rod, as well as some other crap. Anyways, the body is all plastic, trigger is plastic. This is not cheap plastic. It is actually a very durable ABS plastic. The selector switch is also plastic. Charging handle, um, flash hider, and upper receiver are all metal. The upper receiver actually comes out. I believe it has Mad Bull hop-up buckings. It also has some very nice little decals on it. E90 caliber 5.7 by 2.8 serial number not sure if you can see that or not not sure if it's individualized but they try and then it says right along there model Echo 90 caliber 5.7 by 2.8 millimeter um I'm gonna have to put this camera sideways this is a flip video camera from Walmart yes I know they are cheap As you can see, it does not wobble when it is positively clicked in. Today I have an 8.4 volt and 9.6 volt battery for the firing test. Um, also, a note is that Jerk the Arab Dragon or Jerk 4 on YouTube would well, check out my JG M16A4 as a matrix tactical systems red dot scope, red and green dot scope, sorry, and a star 20 round magazine. Now please bear with me while I get this damn battery in, because though they are actually kind of hard to get in and out, especially when you have limited time. I did make another review, except it was too long to upload. Alright, now, oh yes, it comes with um, iron sights. 8.4 volt. And that came with my JG M4A1, not the M16. The M16 actually takes a large type 8.4 volt or 9.6 volt battery. I do have a smoke caps presser, but I'm unfortunately going to have to make another review on that some other day. Because as of right now in Alaska, it is about 5 o'clock in the morning. And I do not want to go waking people up in my house. Too much, anyways. <clears throat> and I use 0.2 gram BBs. Or 20 gram BBs as some people call them. They are the Crossman type, but I have not yet had a problem with them. And I do have a magazine here because my P90, for some reason, has kind of an odd function, which happened during combat. My friend had it halfway between full auto and semi auto and pulled the trigger. And then once he realized what he did, he put it in semi auto. And about maybe a minute, minute and a half later, it started firing in a burst mode, three to five rounds. Now here's the 9.6 volt battery rate of fire and fire test and I'm going to zoom in that box that is the other firing test I did in the other review which you will not get to see unfortunately because the video is too long now it is in safe mode here is semi-auto mode burst mode it is still in semi-auto mode And then, full auto mode. And I'm going to have to recharge the battery. Because the battery is now dying. Echo One E90 bought from PyramidAir.com for about $200. That is with second day air shipping, I think it was, to Alaska. Um, comes with speed loader two magazines not four like I have 
So I ordered two spares. Comes with a black flash hider as well as the plastic orange one that comes with it. Comes with the 9.6 volt battery, which is pictured right here. Give me a second. There we go. The difference between the two is the 8.4 volt battery has six cells going vertical and one going horizontal. And you can't see it, but I don't know if you can anyways. There are eight cells in a 9.6 volt battery pack, which by the way, this one came with the Echo One P90 or E90. They're both small type. Um, this is the 9.6 volt battery and it is a little bit larger than the 8.4 volt. Um, other than that, I will be a, doing a review on my other tactical gear soon. And this is what the back looks like in case you are wondering. I know it's not really good lighting but pretty much yeah, it's got a large battery space up top there. So yeah, and Jerk, this is also a shout out for you. Um, congratulations on your new website. I hope it works out for you. Hopefully you'll accept credit cards in the future. <laughs> um, oh yes, one more thing that I want to do before I stopped reviewing this. Let's show you this red and green dot scope. Which was supposed to be for my P90, but unfortunately my P90 does not work too well with it. Now, let's see if I can get a clear picture before time runs out here. There is the green dot and the red dot. Okay. <clears throat> I'll be doing a review and I'll possibly be filming a upcoming airsoft game in Wasilla, Alaska up here. Um, thanks for watching the review. Signing out.